Hi, I'm Roger Rod. I'm the host of Flophouse Radio, and I'm about to pitch you something more valuable than two aces before the flip. It's been a vehicle to my life, all of my life. It really has been in the many different things that I've done. It was always subsidized by poker. Now, poker's the reason that I never had to sling the specials on the menu at the Olive Garden when I got bitten by the show business bug, or I've had a reasonable amount of success. And all every kid ever wanted to do is be like me. So it becomes a cop. Once you go black, you never get jacked. It's not the usual path for a Stanford graduate who's been a lifeguard, a cop, even had a few pro football tryouts. You gotta be a football hero. Started playing poker professionally right out of college. I've taken my decades of experience as a professional player to coach and technically advise several celebrities, including Robert Duvall and Eric Bana in the film Lucky You. I've been a TV and radio commentator. I'm roughly a five to one dog. I'm getting eight to one from the pot. That's a reasonable play. The Poker Comedian is a show that I developed specifically for a casino audience. How can you watch Texas Hold'em without it being dull? Actually, um, something had to replace the fishing channel. <laughs> That's where I've also roasted with the best of them. I remember the first time I saw her in a movie, uh, Birth of a Nation. <laughs> Good evening, and how about a nice round of applause for Mr. Mike Sexton here. Nice job, Michael. Two words, Mike. Grecian formula. Okay. For over six years and still going, I'm the poker instructor at the Commerce Casino, the world's largest poker venue. I also starred in the documentary film Post Oak Bluff, alongside the top names in the industry. Sooner or later, the best players win, and this is one of the things I put out in the class all the time. If you're losing in the game you're playing in consistently, you're being outplayed. And have I mastered Texas Hold'em? No. Will anybody ever? No, because every situation is different because of the, not just the card and the luck factor, the people factor. Poker's a game of people and money. If you continue to violate the fundamental axiom that if you keep taking the worst of it, you're going to lose. A casino has roughly a 52 to 48 edge over the average tourist. And that's the essence of how the casino business works. But going 24-7, 365 with 366 on leap years, no locks on the doors, that comes out in favor of the casino. If you're a good poker player, you are essentially turning yourself into the house where you're constantly taking the best of it. And occasionally a streak of luck goes for or against you to where that anomaly is a blip in what the scale will be. But make no mistake about it, poker is a game of skill. The only things you can't do in this game is, number one is you can't swear, and the other thing is you can't cheat. After that, it's open warfare. I respectfully offer my services as a poker personality, instructor, and entertainer in any capacity you may find appealing. I look forward to hearing from you.